Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah Stokes, the owner here at Stokes Herzog Marketing and Consulting with my husband, Chris Herzog, and the founder of The Juicy Good Life, which is an online success company for women. And today we are talking about how to create a win-win. So this content was created specifically during coronavirus in 2020, in case you find this video in the future. Um, and we are all looking at ways to survive in business. Small businesses, large businesses, we are all impacted. But especially for folks who literally like us, who are mom and pops out there, who don't have just, you know, 101 days cash on hand like the banks would love, right? We, we live a lot tighter on those profit margins. Um, we're trying to find creative ways to make it right now and also to help our fellow business owners and our fellow nonprofit organizations. So here are some ways that we have implemented already in our business to get through this together. I always love a win-win, but now more than ever when we're in crisis, I really love a win-win. So what have we done at the Juicy Good Life immediately when I created a new mentorship product, a daily mentorship, I knew that A, I wanted each membership that people were paying for to have an impact. So if every paid membership, I donate $5 a month from that paid membership to Feed My People Food Bank. It's doing so much in the region and I like having that impact because they can turn $5 worth of food into $50 worth of food, $5 donation into $50 worth of food because of their buying power and nonprofit status. So right away, I had a give back mechanism so that I felt good about telling people, hey, I know it's a big deal. First of all, if you can buy a membership right now to something, Second of all, here's how we can do, make a, here's how we can make a difference rather and donate to feed my people. Secondly, same membership. I knew that what we created was something everyone needed during this time, but especially people who are under extreme stress, like essential workers, like people leading nonprofits who are responding to this, like people volunteering in nonprofits responding to this and people who had been laid off or lost their income because of this. So I created a second piece of the give back pie, the win-win. First was the donation piece. Second was the free membership in April to anyone who fell into that category of essential worker, nonprofit person responding to COVID-19 or someone who had lost their income. I wanted this accessible to everybody because the whole reason it exists is to help us lead ourselves first. So that product had two things that were automatically going into play. That gave me as a stressed out mom, right? Who's running businesses and homeschooling kids. That gave me the fire in my belly to go forward with sales right now, because I know a lot of us feel weird. We, we make up stories in our head about what people can afford and what they can't right now. We also wonder, is now the right time to sell something? Is it appropriate? Well, when it has that win-win mechanism, it felt great. So I'm going to continue to do that. That has made such a difference for my internal motivation. And then the beauty of it is, is I get to send a check to that nonprofit for every sale we make. That's beautiful. I get to share this piece of information with someone who's going through something right now. So I feel like what's out of our control can be a more warm, fuzzy experience for those of us who feel like we can't help essential workers. So that's that piece. What about the idea of buy one, gift one, buy one, give one. So you've heard of BOGOs, buy one, get one. But what about the idea of buy one, gift one? We have done that too at Juicy Good Life. And it's fun because a lot of times our folks like community and relationships and they know their friend is going to be interested in the same thing or their loved one. So think about that as a potential mechanism. What do you have that would be a good fit for buy one, gift one? You can also take that, um, I don't know what Tom's Shoes is it, where you buy a pair and they give a pair to someone in need. That's a great idea too. So either you have the consumer option where they buy one, they get to give one to someone they care about, or you could look at it in terms of the charity. I've seen, um, I think there's a local HVAC company that's doing, you buy $20 in gift cards and they will buy $20 in gift cards. So that's the same idea. It's wonderful. Totally recommend that. And I don't want to forget anything. So I think I've, I think I've hit my list of ways to feel good and have win-wins in this economy because number one, 
your business has to survive this for you to do the good you want to do. So that's why we're focusing on moving ahead with sales. So what is it that will get you out of bed in the morning? Despite this scary economy, despite the cash flow problems we're all experiencing, what will keep you moving? What's that give back for you?